Hi, I'm Dr. Roland Tripp. I'm the behaviorist for Hannah the Pet Society, and I've got several topics that I think will be useful for you. And this one is especially for those people who already have a cat or multiple cats, and now you're bringing home a new pet. Now, hopefully that new pet has been selected for you by the Hannah Society, but in any case, you've got a new dog coming in, and we've got to figure out how do we introduce the cats to the new dog. First, let's say the wrong way to do it. Wrong way to do it is leave the cats out, let them be however they, wherever they want, whoever they are, let them be. And the dog comes in, sees the cats and chases them. So all of a sudden now we got pandemonium, scared cats, the dog that thinks it's prey, this is the hunting ground all of a sudden, and the cats are just freaked out and now we got to undo the damage. So that's the wrong way, don't do that. When you're bringing a new dog in, first put the cats in another room, put them away where they can be safe and sound. They will know a new dog is in the house. They'll hear it, they'll smell it, they'll be aware of it, but they can now be in a different room with the door closed. That's the right way to do it. So for this purposes, let's assume you've got three cats. One of them we're going to make really friendly and outgoing. One of them is going to be really a scaredy cat hiding all the time, and the other one we'll make in the middle. So for the cat who is the friendly one, that's the one you introduce first. Don't introduce the cat until the dog is relaxed. So not in the first hour, probably, that the dog's in the house. Let the dog kind of chill out, be there for a few hours, and just calm down. When the dog is finally calm, sleeping would be great, then we're going to bring the new cat out. Now, bring the cat out of the room to meet the dog. Now, in this case, the dog is going to be quite fascinated to the cat, but the dog is the lower rank between the two. We're going to move the dog, and you're going to introduce the dog, holding it if it's a small dog in your lap. If it's a big dog, get down with it, but turn the dog away and let the cat sniff the back of the dog first. Then, let the dog sniff the back of the cat. In each case, ideally, somebody is feeding hot dog, little pieces of hot dog to the pet who is facing away, while the other one is sniffing back there. What this does is reduces the tension of having them meet face to face. What we want is to have one or the other. You can do the cat first, whichever you prefer, but one of them is turned away and the other one gets to sniff the backside without the teeth and the face and all that stuff right there. They sniff the backside. How long? Sniff until they're bored. So you're sniff, 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 sniff. Mm. Okay, fine. Now we're going to turn them around. Now this one was getting food treats on that side, and hopefully it was exciting enough food that it kept the attention. Then we turn the other way, sniff the back side, and now they can sniff the front. Now what you are doing during this time is very important. You need to be radiating calm, happy, loving energy, and don't fall into the trap of being worried. If you're worried like, oh, I, I hope they get along, I hope they don't bite each other, uh, well, what's happening is you're putting all that negative energy and the pets are picking that up from you. So you have to act relaxed and happy, oh, this is so fun. Now remember, this is the friendliest cat we're dealing with too. So the idea is to get to the point where they've sniffed each other to their heart's content, they are associating food treats with the presence of the other cat, and the dog, and hopefully both of them have a good positive experience so you can separate them. If they're not completely relaxed and happy, then later, an hour later, repeat that same process. So we have multiple episodes where they come together and something good happens. Now let's go to the other extreme. Now we're going to say the most difficult cat. The order in which you introduce them is the friendliest cat first, the medium next, should take a little longer typically, and then lastly is your scaredy cat. Let's talk about that cat. That's the one that's hiding under the farthest corner of the bed and does not want to meet the dog at all anyway. How do we do that? First of all, if you try to bring that cat out, you can try it, but it's very likely that cat's going to be so terrified that it's not a good thing. It's not nice for that cat. So we're going to introduce another concept called cross-door feeding. That's where you feed the pets only at that feeding time is the only time they get food, and it's on either side of a closed door. Feed them both near the hinge side of the door so you can be on the other side and be able to look on both sides. What you're looking for is how tense or relaxed each of them are. If it's a puppy, they're probably totally relaxed, they're just woofing down the food. But you look over on this side, and this cat is won't eat and it's running to the side. So you have to move the puppy back, move them back. What we're doing is we're moving them back from the door until they will both eat. Now they don't get any other food except this food and when you feed it. So you're doing this two or maybe even three times a day and you can soup it up by having the cat get really special food. Don't normally give canned food. Here, here's the time when you might. 
putting little some uh, hot dog chips or some chicken or some tuna, something that's very attractive to speed the process up. Because we want this cat to think, huh, whenever that's other puppies around, I get really good food. That's a linkage or pairing of a positive thing, and we want that to happen. So what's cool about this is now we can measure stress in feet. That is, how far back do I have to move the bowl until the cat will be able to actually just eat? And then you, depending on how scared this cat is, you may need to do this for days, multiple meals, but you want to be there so you can reward the cat when it calms down. Just you be calm first, relax, relax. When they finally can eat on either side of the door and both be relaxed, now you're finally ready to do the process you did on the first day with that relaxed cat. So that's how to introduce your new dog or new puppy to your existing housemate cats. If you have more questions, come and visit us at hannasociety.com. Thank you.